Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video is about IPython Notebook. Now, IPython Notebook is a great teaching tool, but sometimes it's a little bit difficult to install, especially the latest version. This video shows an easy install method of installing the latest version of IPython Notebook into Ubuntu Desktop. The outcomes for this video would be to install Synaptic Package Manager. This makes it easy to install the following packages, IPython Notebook, Matplotlib, SciPy, Pandas, Simpy, Setup Tools, and all dependency. Then we're going to use Easy Install for Setup Tools to update to the latest version of IPython Notebook. So basically, Synaptic Package Manager installs everything, and then we update it with Easy Install. Requirements of Ubuntu 12.04 plus desktop with all updates installed. Ubuntu 12.04 is used for this demo. Here's we've got some additional info. And I'm also going to use the Matplot Live tutorial down here to actually show you that everything's work when I'm through. Of course there's a disclaimer. You can stop the video and read it. In this section of the video I'm going to demonstrate how to install Synaptic uh, Package Manager. Well, it might be easier to work with the command line. Uh, uh, when you use Synaptic Package Manager, you can kind of see how complicated everything gets, and, and it's also a little bit of a learning experience. And if you're working with uh, Ubuntu or Linux, it's a good idea to just see how packages come together also. So to do that, we'll go to, go to Ubuntu Software Center. Once the software center loads up, we use type in synaptic. Spell it correctly. And here it is. Basically, just going to install it. Requires authentication. Your password. And it'll trundle along and install. Come back when it's through, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So now it's ready to go. We've got the remove sign. Just simply close that. And one thing you might want to do before uh, using it, you might want to check and see what version of Python you have. Simply go to the dash home, open it up, type in terminal if it's not showing, click on terminal, and use a command line to uh, key in Python dash dash version. In this case, this machine has 2.7.3. That may help you if you're uh, when you're downloading uh, Python packages. So let's go ahead and uh, close that. We're going to go dash home, and again, we'll just type in Synaptic. It's locked right now. You can unlock it from the launcher if you want to. So in this case, this is. It requires your permission to run. And you've got a quick introduction. I, I'm not going to read this here. Uh, basically, everything is organized into packages. So let's go and look for IPython. Type in IPython. And we want to hit space and type in notebook. And in this case, we're going to click in IPython mark for installation. And it's going to install all these other packages. Now you notice right here just IPython is also installed automatically when you put in IPython notebook. So the next package that we're going to look for is, mat, is Python matplotlib. Let's go down here And it's right here. This this is the one that you want. A Python-based plotting system in a style similar to MATLAB. If I click this, not any of these other ones up here, I just click Mark for Installation. And it will pick everything that it needs to run. In this case, you'll see it'll also pick Python Matplotlib data. So the next package that we're going to install, and you notice that we have put Python in front of all these, is SciPy. And again, right here, mark for installation, Python SciPy. And again, you've got all the other things that it takes to 
run. Next package that we're going to do is pandas. Pandas. Mark for installation. And the next one that we're going to do is SimPy. Finally, one that we're going to use to, a package that we're going to use to basically get up to the uh, latest version of uh, I Python Notebook is Setup Tools. These Synaptic Package Manager will pull pa everything down, but it won't get you the latest version of I Python Notebook. But well, it makes it easy to set everything up and make sure all the dependencies are, are straight for I Python Notebook. So we're going to mark it for installation. Once we've got everything done here, we're going to click apply. And so the 155 new packages will be installed. And so we're just going to go apply. It's going to take a while to do this. You can come back in a few minutes. I'm just going to fast forward this when we're ready to go to the next step. Now if everything's going correctly, we should have an IPython notebook running. So let's close Synaptic Package Manager. And open up a terminal. Oh, I've got two, but that's not going to hurt us. So we go IPython Notebook. Take a second for you for it to come up, and it's going to open up a uh, Firefox web browser. In this case, that's what I'm using here, Firefox web browser. And you'll notice that it's right here. And if I click on New Notebook, this is the old version. Now, if I want to go to a new version, I simply have to close this. And the best way to do this is just follow the rules. Control-C. WebSocket connection close. Just click OK. And let's go ahead and close this. And sudo, command is easy, underscore, install, dash with a capital U, which is update, I, Python, bracket, I, Python, all. Hit enter, let it do its thing, well, password, and you'll notice that it's going for Python 1.1. I've tried a number of different ways of installing this uh, using pip and easy install and just simply found that it was the cleanest way to go or the, was to use the package managers in Ubuntu and then just update it using easy install. So now it's ready to go so we go to I Python notebook and again, you use Control C to stop this server. That should do it twice. Again, I'm waiting for uh, Firefox web browser to open up. If you have it open, it might make it a little bit easier. And so now we have the new. If I click on New Notebook, we've got a, the new notebook look. And in this case, I have a link to a tutorial. I'm going to use. Use that link to pull up a graphic and just show you that it basically works. This is a tutorial I found on the internet using Matplotlib. I'm just going to pick this 3D plot just simply because it looks cool. And don't ask me, you know, how how it works and everything. And they. It says, starting from the code below, try to reproduce a graph to write. Now, unfortunately, my math is not that good, so I'm just going to click right here for the solution. Here's the solution in Python. Copy. Go back in here. Now, if I want to have something show up in Notebook, I use the magic symbol here, and I say PyLab inline as a first line, 
And then I'll paste all everything in here. And now I can hit shift enter and it should pop up. So which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, don't ask me to explain it. So that's how you get the latest uh, copy of uh, iPython notebook, uh, easiest install I've been able to figure out.